What's up, y'all? As you can see behind me, I'm still out here at the range on a hot, steamy day out here. It's a little over 90 degrees, so I'm definitely running for some shade, but I think we can get through one more out here. As you can see by the title on this one, we're working with some more 22 LR. We're doing another consistency and reliability test on them. But y'all know the deal out here. I got my contraption set up with the Chrono. Got a couple blocks of gel. Now, these are my older blocks, but they work just fine for this 22 consistency test. Now, this block down here is one that I just got finished doing with the Winchester the white box if y'all hadn't seen that one i'll leave a link up above it was an absolute mess y'all you definitely want to check that video out it was it was interesting to say the least but for this one here we're moving to one that i do believe is going to do pretty good for us and as you can see what we got is the Ogula 22 super extra copper plated round nose 40 grain projectiles i personally had good luck with all of Ogula's ammunition no matter what the caliber so like i said i'm expecting some pretty good results out of this now for the tool on this one we're going back with the trusty TX22. Uh, if y'all hadn't watched any of the consistency tests I do with this 22 LR ammo, basically I'm just going to run four magazines through. So we got 16 round magazines. So I'm going to run 64 rounds across the chrono, see what the speeds on those are. And then I'm going to take six more and run them through the gel and see what they do in the gel. But like I said, just based on past experience, I got a good feeling about this. I think this Ogula ammo is going to do really good. So let me get everything set up and let's check it out. All right, y'all, let's see what this Eagle ammo can do. Like I say, I'm going to run four magazines across the chrono and see what we get. Now, I'm expecting some errors. I always get errors doing these 22 tests, uh, but hopefully we won't, won't get a big long string of them, and I'll make it up towards the end. So here we go, y'all. Ah, too fast. All right, that was 56, so I need to make up, what, eight more? Let me get eight more loaded up, and we'll finish it off. All right, there's our 64 rounds. Honestly, from what I heard and just saw out of the corner of my eye, it looks like we did pretty good. Let's go down there and check the data out. All right, y'all, it's no wonder this thing gives me errors doing these 22 tests. This thing is just covered with unburnt powder on top of the chrono, so I know it's interfering with it. But anyway, as for the data on these 64 rounds of Ogula 22, through 64 rounds, we had a high of 1,071, a low of 1,005. That gave us an average of 1,041, an extreme spread of 66, which right off the top of my head, I do believe that's the best extreme spread we've had so far on any of these consistency tests. And and then that leaves us with a standard deviation of 16. So, so far, this Ogula has been the best performing round as far as the chrono data by far. But let me get all this stuff reset and y'all know what time it is. All right, y'all, it's fly like an eagle jelly time. I'm gonna put six rounds into the gel. I'm gonna run them across the chrono. So hopefully we can get a couple of readings. I'm just gonna tell you now, uh, that I never get all six of them. So whatever we get is what we get, y'all. But I'm gonna put six of them down here into the gel. All right, I believe out of six of them, looks like we got five readings, so not too bad. Let's go down there and check it out and see what we got.
All right, y'all, let's take a look at what we got down here. So we got four of them caught in the jail. Two of them decided they wanted to exit stage left on us, but they traveled a good distance before they came out. I would say this is probably about the end of their travel right here because this is where pretty much all the rest of them stop. What I can tell you from just looking at them, excellent wound channel action. Now this one here is a little bit crazy. It probably tumbled right there and did some tearing of the jail, but uh, the rest of them all look very similar. Very nice penetration. Looks like all of them, uh, well, uh, about half of them out here at 15 inches, a couple of them a little bit short, but this is pretty much what I expected from this Ogula ammo. This stuff, like I said at the beginning, I've had nothing but good experience out of any caliber I've tested, and I expected the same out of the 22 LR. But let's get some measurements on it and check out the penetration. So starting at this back one here, we got 14 and a half. This one is at 13. This one over here is at 15 and a quarter. This one here is at 15 and a half. And these two that went out, one of them went out right at 15. The other one went, went out right at about 14 and three quarters. So some definite good penetration on all of these. Most of the wound channels all look pretty similar. You can see there, this one over here on the top, that's one that went out the side there. But there's some of the projectiles. Some of them are forward, some of them are backwards. Quick look from the other side. This thing has a problem focusing when there's a lot of tracks in this cloudy gel. So as you can see, nice penetration on all these things. Now, I don't think any of them, from what I can see, there's no deformation, no expansion. They're solid, so I didn't figure there would be any, but definitely some really, really, really nice performance out of these. All right, just wanted to give y'all a quick look at the projectiles. As you can see, no kind of expansion, no deformation, completely intact, just like you want to see. All right, y'all, that wraps up another 22LR consistency test, and this is definitely a breath of fresh air compared to what I experienced earlier today. This Ogula Super Extra 40 grain round nose did absolutely fantastic out here. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I really didn't have any doubt that this Ogula was going to perform really nice. I hadn't had any trouble that I can remember at all from this 22 LR or for that matter, any caliber of Ogula ammo. But y'all let me know down in the comments what you think about the performance you saw out of this Ogula ammo out here today. Uh, is it something you already use? Is it something that you'll consider using now that you've seen just how good it does run? Let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. If you did enjoy the video, as always, take a second if you would, reach down and hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell notification icon so hopefully you can get notified when I upload these new videos. Y'all make sure to check out my affiliate links down below in the video description, my Amazon link. If you shop through there anyway, hit that link up first and anything you buy anywhere on Amazon after that, I get a kickback from them towards the channel. So I really do appreciate that. Even though it's a steamy 90 degrees out here, my ears and my head's feeling nice and cool with the breeze blowing across them. No swamp ear going on thanks to these axle gs extreme earbuds if you're interested in some of these check out that affiliate link down below you can save some big money going through that link versus going straight through their site as always i appreciate all my range game members for reaching down and hitting that join button and every single one of y'all out there that supports the channel by watching my videos hitting that thumbs up hitting that subscribe button and leave me those comments down below again let me know what you think about this augula ammo i think that's gonna wrap it up for me today y'all it's been a long hot day out here so i gotta run inside find me something cool to drink but i got a bunch of stuff coming y'all's way so make sure you stay tuned for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon